as we wait for the goalies to get their gear on. The first period is in the books. A 3-0 lead for Blood Red entering period number two in this quarterfinal single elimination game. Number one seed Blood Red 9-1 entering this game. 1-9 Triple Deeks trying to hold them off. Into the corner early on, Numa able to chase it down, plays it around. Phil brings it up to Honorbon at center. Honorbon with a shot well wide. Jonas follows it. Jonas trying to get play around Simon and Ben, but they are able to bring it forward. Ben was the one with the ball right now. Gets it around Numa, takes the narrow angle, but Jonas gets there first. Now Phil the other way, trying to get around Honey, is able to do so, but there is nobody there to help him. Goes into the corner, and Simon will recover it. Simon plays it middle, pass everybody into the opposite corner. Race is on. Ben beats Newman to the ball, but we have a tie up in the corner. We're gonna have a face off. Standing by here with Lynn Kelly of Triple Deeks. Lynn, how did that first period go for you? It went well. I think we're playing well. We need to calm down and spread out a little more and just watch the guys on the floor, not the ball. All right, what's your strategy heading into the second period? Yelling in the corners and scaring the crap out of them. Sounds like a plan to me. Three nothing, that was Lynn Kelly of Triple Deeks. We just had an interview with. Honor Bond now trying to play it forward, but it is Ben getting there first, only as far as Jonas. Jonas resets the offense. Honey keeps it away from Honor Bond into the corner. And it is now Ben playing to Simon. That shot is saved by Tom. Return shot goes well wide. Jonas gets there first around Ben, and he's going to bring it behind the net to clear. Phil goes forward. Was that an offside? No call is made. And Roger knocks the ball away. Honorbon now in the trying to bring it around Mike. Mike has him well covered. Honorbon is forced to retreat almost all the way to the red line. Ball comes around here. And he's able to clear it to Phil. Phil fighting for it with Simon. Simon able to bring it to the Triple League zone. Shot by Mike, and this one is saved by Tom, who falls on it. That was almost the breakthrough that the Triple Deeks needed to get back into this game. Two players from the gold team in our second game that will be taking on the Snake Eyes. That will be coming up later. You can find it on YouTube channels anywhere. Now face-off won by Mike, but only goes to Jonas. Jonas trying to bring it up, gets it to Honorbon, who lost the face-off but got into position. He's got Phil helping him, trying to take it on Lynn and Christy in the back. Honorbon being carded by Lynn. And Roderick is going to play that back to his defense, but nobody's there to get it. Phil now plays it up to Honorbon, looking. There's a shot. That one is saved, and Roderick will, will hold on to it. Now setting up for the face-off, it will be Nandor of Blood Red and Mike of Triple Deeks taking the face-off. Mike able to play it, only as far as Tommy. Tommy has two goals already, trying to find Boris. Instead, Numa will get it to him. Back to Tommy in the middle. He's going to make it past to Nandor, who was standing right on the doorstep, but couldn't control it. 11 minutes, 40 seconds left in the, first, in the second period. It was 3-0 Blood Red so far. Boris in the corner now. Lose possession. It's going to be Nandor trying to punch it in. Can't do so. Clear is blocked by Numa, but only as far as Simon. No, stolen back by Nandor. Nandor's got a player in the middle. Saved by Roderick on a shot instead. And Tommy has it stolen by Mike. Tom plays it forward to Tommy. Yes, Tom and Tommy, I know. We'll try and keep him straight. One of them plays goal, the other doesn't. Boris with a shot. That's a goal. We might have to give a goalie assist on that one. Yes, it, that is confirmed. Tom Barnes and General starting to play up to Tommy Bowser who finds Boris in a turnoff. It is 4-0 Blood Red. Score 4-0. We have 10 minutes, 45 seconds left in the second period. Periods are 15 minutes, of course. And playing it behind, and it will be covered by Tom for... No, wait, they're going to let him play it out. Nandor now controlling it up to Numa. That pass only goes as far as, as far as, as Ben. Struggle in the corner. Triple League's trying to get something started. Here comes the counterattack. It's a three-on-one. 
Triple Deke's able to recover, but they still have a man at the doorstep for Blood Red. Roderick will fall on it and get the face off. Face off now in the Triple Deke's defensive zone. Only as far as force. He's going to take a shot that's saved by Roderick, and he will force another face off. Well, we've never accused the Triple Deeks of folding, and it looks like they're going to play this one to the end, the bitter end. But Blood Red looks to have just too much talent out there. Playing it forward only as far as Boris. They don't control the offense, takes a speculative shot. Ani with the block. Tries to bring it around. Stuck in the corner. Goes behind the net, looking for a wraparound play. Forced wide, gets it to Tommy, who cannot control it. Plays it in the middle, Nandor unable to get anything going. Now Tommy the other way. That shot is partially blocked by Lynn. Playing in the corner, it is Nandor, and it looks like Ben trying to play it out of the corner. Nandor is able to recover it. Gets it to Tommy, will this be the hat trick? No, he passes it off, but nobody's there to tip it home. That could have been five right there. Now Boris recovers as Blood Red resets the offense. Tries to bring it forward, can't get it to Nandor. Numa will keep it in and give them a second chance. Ball loose. Played all the way back now. Tommy able to keep it in the zone. Finds Boris, that shot goes wide. Nandor unable to follow it. Bill started in the corner, gets it back out to Tommy. Tommy being pressured by Mike. Shot is blocked, second try block. Mike trying to get it around, but no, Tommy's able to maintain control. This could be dangerous. Tipped out, oh, Lynn nearly with an own goal there. Ruling is Triple Deeks will have it. Honey will bring it out of the net. Played forward as far as Tommy. Tommy being guarded by Lynn, trying to play it in. Wait, Boris steals it away from Ben to Nandor. That's a shot and that's a save by Roger. We have eight minutes left now in the second period. 4-0 the score. Triple Deeks acquitting themselves pretty well for a 1-8 game. Now off the faceoff. He's trying to clear it. And get as far as Steve, who regains off the faceoff, has Jonas in front of him, unable to get anywhere. Now Jonas coming around. Plays it forward. That's a shot and a goal. Jonas able to get it to Steve through a maze of traffic. He lifts his shot, goes off the bottom of the crossbar and in. That is 5-0. That is the second goal for Steve. So he joins Tommy on two, and Blood Red looking dominant. With about seven minutes and 15 seconds left, it is 5-0 to Red. Two for Steve, two for Tommy, another one for Jonas, and oh, almost in again. Follow through, saved by Roderick. Sorry, not Jonas Boris. My apologies to uh, everyone involved in that one, but two players for Blood Red looking for a hat trick here. Phil trying to play it to Steve. He's the first one of the two. Roderick will fall on the loose ball and force a face off. You'll notice in the second period, by the way, that even though the teams have changed ends, they have not changed benches. This can lead to a lot of interesting developments in terms of substitutions because you have to wait for just the right time to make sure that you don't sub in offside. Face-off being controlled now by Red. Jonas is going to take his chances. No, being closed in by Kristen and Ben. Plays a slow ball forward. Simon is able to clear it. Triple D's looking like they're up on the breakaway. Can't get it there. Steve is all alone. Wind goes down. Uh, they're going to say it was a clean, clean fall. Almost to Jonas to make it six. Jonas in the corner plays it forward. Steve, is this that? No, oh, almost bounces off of Kristen and in. That would have been a disaster for Triple Deeks. Jonas has it in the corner. Plays it up to Ann. Ann's going to take a shot. That one's not going to get through traffic. Jonas is there to recover, though. Playing it up to Steve. Steve loses possession. Ben the other way. We've got a two on one if they hurry. There's the shot saved by Tom. And that will lead to a face off. Triple League's able to get a few flashes in, just not enough. But they have the face-off in their offensive zone, and that could be a benefit. There's the face-off drop, but Red is able to clear it, or claim it, excuse me, they haven't cleared it yet. Arman and Jonas winning the two-man game, that gets from the offensive zone. Back to Honorbond, he's going to take a shot, saved by Roderick. Miscommunication on the follow-up, and Roderick is able to fall on it after it bounces off of the foot of a Blood Red player. 
There's the setup. Don't no, wait. Timeout. We're gonna have an official's timeout here. For the sake of the goalie, who appears to be a little worn out, and really I can't blame him, <laughs> he has done a very good job so far. We're at about the five minute mark of the second period. And now we have a clock malfunction, so they're going to reset the clock. Uh, we will start at, looks like five minutes, two seconds left in the second period. Goalie is ready to go. Both teams ready to go. Here's the face off in the uh, Triple Deeks defensive zone. And Phil nearly the shot, but a swing and a miss. And we'll follow, that gets through everybody, but it's saved by Roderick. Play back up, no, Phil can't quite get it in the, on the angle, Nandor will follow. Nandor is taken away by Kristen, passes out to Honorbon, that shot's gonna go wide. No, 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 nobody home on that one, and Mike's gonna take it the other way. Mike playing it up, but taken away by Ann. And now back the other way to Honorbon, Honorbon going to take his shot, he's one on nothing, gets the shot, that goes wide. Everyone playing court behind the net. Uh, no clear winner, and they're gonna have a tie up. We have four minutes, 15 seconds left now in the second period. In the zone now, controlled by the Peaks, who are able to play it forward. Chaos in the corner, finally played out. To an opposite corner, and Blood Red will control it. Side. Time unable to get anywhere. And plays it back to the corner where Nandor is first to it. Up to Phil, unable to get to Honorbon. What would have been a breakaway. The ball never crossed center court, so this is officially an offside trap. And gets it around Mike, who's in great position, but Simon able to play it back into Mike. No, gets through him, and Tom knocks it away. Now Phil playing it forward to Nandor. Taken away by Honey. Triple Deeks still on the offense. Ball is blocked, coming through. And a clear by Honorbon up to Nandor. Fighting forward in the corner. Nandor now trying to get around. Knocked away. And now looking for Nandor, but it is Simon able to get it away. Bring it up to the middle. Honorbon now with a shot. That one is blocked into the corner. Lays it up, but it's tipped away by Roderick. Looking for Mike. No, and able to keep it in. No, Mike has it. Mike goes into the side, and Mike is able to get it into the offensive zone. That's to the middle, but nobody's there to get it, and it will be Nandor clearing it to Honorbon. Ball still in for the Triple Deeks. And now... Oh, Blood Red able to take it up. Nandor with a chance, blocked away by Roderick. Nandor trying to play it up. And as far as Honor Bond, that's a shot, that's a save. Phil unable to knock it down. And it is cleared the other way, but only as far as Ann. And she keeps it in the offensive zone by inches. Playing it up, into the corner, comes around the net. Back the other way, there's Nandor, he's gonna take a shot. That's blocked by Kristen. Plays it up, Honor Bond a shot, that's saved by Roderick. Blood Red totally on the offense here. Get in the middle, there it goes to Ann. She's gonna take a shot, that goes wide. Honorbon recovers first. Into the center, it is covered by Roderick. We will have a face off with under 90 seconds left. It looks like, um, no, I apologize, it's a minute 40 left. Kinda hard to read the clock from this angle. 134 left, rolling. Remains five, nothing in favor of Blood Red. It will be Ben and Steve taking the face off. Goes back and able to keep it in over to Boris. Going as far as Ben, Tommy is able to recover it. He's around the center, but Lynn with the steal tries to play it forward, can't do so. And in the corner, looking to get it around Lynn. Fight is on, Boris has it. Only one man to beat, but Simon is able to take it away. Back the other way we go. 
outnumbered by Tom. One minute to go, up to Tommy. Tommy gets it to Boris. Two on one, can Boris get it back to Tommy? Can't do so. Behind the net, now Tommy has it. He's gonna bring it around. He's got a chance, place it to Ann. There's the shot, that's blocked going in. And Steve brings it up. Steve on two goals, as is Tommy. Plays it back to Tommy in the defensive zone. Up to Flores, that's a shot that is saved. Now Ben, bring it forward, taken away by Ann. Blood Red still in. And still in, getting it up to Boris. Unable to do so, Honey unable to clear. Ball behind the net now. Plays it up to Boris, they've got a chance. Boris looking for Tommy. Oh, the ball gets away from him. And Triple Deeks now on the offense, they hurry. They got a chance for a counter. Lynn is able to get there first, tries to play it to the middle, nobody there. We have 10 seconds left, Honey now trying to keep it in. This one is knocked away by Tom at the last second, and that means it's going to remain 5-0 after two.